the Trump administration has released 2,800 previously classified documents related to the assassination of President John F. Kennedy. It will take weeks to go through all of the declassified documents, but an early look at some of the released memos and interviews offers a fascinating view of the scramble to make sense of the November 22, 1963, killing in Dallas. They also offer a rare glimpse into the secret worlds of CIA spies and FBI informants. Here is a roundup of some of the revelations from some of the memos, as well as a wild tidbit or two. Before proceed, please for like and subscribe this channel. Number 5 FBI informant claimed Dallas police officer was real assassin. According to an April 1964 note, an informant claimed to the FBI that slain Dallas police officer J.D. Tippett was the real gunman behind Kennedy's assassination. The informant also told the FBI that a week before the assassination, Tippett met with a third party possibly gunman Lee Harvey Oswald at Jack Ruby's nightclub. Number 4 Hoover said the public must believe Oswald acted alone. During the chaos following the assassination and subsequent killing of Oswald, FBI Director J. Edgar Hoover worried that the public would look to conspiracy theories and not believe that Oswald was the real assassin. The thing I am concerned about, and so is Deputy Attorney General Nicholas Katzenbach, is having something issued so we can convince the public that Oswald is the real assassin, Hoover wrote in a November 1963 memo. Number 3 Oswald spoke to a KGB agent in the department responsible for assassinations. A memo from November 23, 1963 reveals that Oswald secretly met with Russian spies at the Soviet embassy less than two months before the assassination. He met with Valery Kostikov, a KGB agent the FBI said worked for the agency's 13th department, which was responsible for sabotage and assassination. Number 2 Soviets thought Lyndon B. Johnson was behind the assassination. According to an FBI memo on the Soviet reaction to Kennedy's death, Soviet spies believed President Lyndon B. Johnson was behind the assassination plot. The memo, dated December 1963, outlines information from a source who said Soviet officials believe there was some well-organized conspiracy on the part of the ultra-right in the United States to effect a coup and that Kennedy's assassination had been planned by an organized group rather than being the act of one individual assassin. Number 1 British newspaper got a tip minutes before Kennedy's assassination. According to a November 26, 1963, memo from CIA Deputy Director James Angleton, the British newspaper The Cambridge News received a tip that a reporter should call the American Embassy in London for some big news, and then hung up. According to Britain's MI5 intelligence service, the newspaper received the call 25 minutes before Kennedy was killed. The reporter, who MI5 noted was sound and loyal, said he'd never received a call of that kind before. Thank you for watching the video on this channel, and if useful please share this video.